history of cat so today we saw a problem which appeared in cat 2020 from the chapter of logarithm okay so it is given here log to the base 4 of 5 is equals to log to the base 4 of y into log to the base 6 of square root of 5 then what is the value of y is being asked to me okay so i'll simplify this and reach on to the answer i can see base 4 here base 4 here so what will i do first here is log to the base 4 of 5 and i'll take this one here which is log to the base 4 of y this thing i take it here and this entire thing will be now equal to log to the base 6 of square root of 5 now you can take log 4 log 4 will get cancelled from here so this will eventually be what this is log 5 Okay, upon log y because four four will get cancelled. Okay, so you will get log five to the base y. You can write it in this way. Okay, this entire thing is equals to log base six square root of five. Now let this entire thing be equal to k. Whatever is the value of both of them, let this be equal to k. So first, let me pick this with k. If I solve this here, so log to the base y of five. Is equals to k. Okay, so what can you take from here? Take and write this as log five upon log y. The entire thing is equals to k. Okay, now take this log y here. So I rub this thing, and I take this log y here. So this becomes into log y. Okay, now by the property of log, this will go up. Right, so this becomes what? Log y to the power k, and this entire thing is equals to log phi. Okay, just using the property of logs. Now log log both the base here is e. So what can you say? Five is equals to y raised to k. Okay, that's what you get it as the first value. What after that? Let us solve this as well now. Taking this and this, so what will you get from here? Log To the base six square root of five, the entire thing is equals to k. Okay. Similarly, I'll write this. I'll take this base here, and I'll write this as upon log six. Okay. Now this log six will go and multiply with this, so this becomes what? Log square root of five is equals to k into log six. Okay, now this k will go at the top. Okay, just like how it happened here, according to the property of log. So what will this become? This will become six raised to k. Okay, so from this I get square root of five is equals to six raised to k, and that's what I write it here. Square root of five is equals to six raised to k. Now squaring both sides, I get five is equals to this becomes six k the whole square. Okay, which is nothing but this two will come inside. So this is equals to 36 raised to k, so 5 is equals to 36 raised to k. Okay, property of laws of indices. This will come here and make it a square, and this k will go up here. Okay, so 36 k. Now 5 is equals to y raised to k, and 5 is equals to 36 k. So y raised to k, what you have it here, is equals to 36 k. Okay, the entire thing is equals to five, right? We know this. So from this, it's quite clear. K K is here. Y is equals to what? Thirty six, and that's your answer. Okay, it's a theta question, so you directly put the answer for this.